Chapter 11 Starting interview with Johnny Lawton and his representative Cal Green. Interviewing officers a Detective Augustine Boyle and Detective Electra King. Shall we begin? Lawton looked at his solicitor for advice. He nodded. Lawton said, Yes. Johnny Lawton, do you know Mark McManus, this man here? Augustine asked, holding up an image of Mark McManus retrieved from his brother. The brother had made his way to the station when told of his sibling's demise. He was waiting in an interview room at the other end of the same corridor. Ash and Alice were due to speak to him. Yes, I do know him, Lawton replied, looking again at his solicitor for approval. Why, when questioned earlier, did you claim to not know Mark McManus? I told you before that I forgot his surname. Pull the other one. This is a guy who you just played golf with last night. Someone who you are linked to on social media. I put it to you that you have something to hide in your relationship with Mark. You denied that you knew him for a reason. Lawton looked at his solicitor. He was paralysed by the advice he had been given before the detectives entered the room. Augustine knew what the advice was. It was to keep his mouth shut and only answer questions that didn't incriminate him but Johnny Lawton couldn't determine which answers might land him in trouble. So, he looked for advice with every question. My client won't be answering that question. We're here to deal with facts, not speculation. What if I was to sit here and speculate that one of you killed the guy? Would you allow that line of questioning? Cal Green asked. Fine, understood, Augustine responded. So, how did the game of golf go? What do you mean? Lawton replied. Who won? Electra added. Mark won. He's worked on his game a great deal, improved his athleticism since school. That was probably the last time I saw him until yesterday. And what happened after the game? Augustine asked. We chatted in the car park and then we went our separate ways. Chatted about anything in particular? No, just about the game, about a rematch, about his kids. Just the same kind of thing that people talk about on golf courses, at pubs, at football matches up and down the country. And then you left. Yes. What time was this, Johnny? This is an important question. You might want to check with your solicitor on this one. Lawton looked at Cal Green, who nodded approval. Green had already been told by his client that he left the car park of the George Washington golf course more than eight hours before the body was found. That gap was far too big for the detectives to conclusively link him to the crime. Around 9.15. Around 9.15, Augustine repeated, looking at the notes Electra was making. The interview was recorded, but the nuances of the moment were best recorded by pen and paper. You know, the little things that just can't be seen when a video or audio is replayed. The eye contact, the tension in the air, the almost imperceptible pauses. Who left first? Augustine asked. What? Who got in their car and left the car park first? Was it you or was it Mark McManus? I guess it was me. You guess right. Mark was still there this morning. So, Johnny. Tell me what really happened when you two left the golf course, because I know for a fact it wasn't the cock and bull story you've just told me. Mark didn't have kids, and even if he did, you wouldn't be interested. What happened? Johnny looked at the ground, hoping it would swallow him up. He'd hit the guy, and hit him hard, but surely he didn't die from the blows he'd landed. And the grab around his neck, maybe he did. There were repeated blows. He grabbed him pretty hard, and Mark was always a wuss. By admitting to giving him a few punches and a few kicks and choking him, was Johnny confessing to murder? He had no idea how to proceed. Raising his eyes from the floor, Johnny remembered where he was. He looked to the left and spied his solicitor glaring at him. He was told before the interview what the glare meant, but at that precise moment, 
he couldn't remember what that glare was for. Uh, no comment, he answered, suddenly recalling the words he was fed by Cal Green. And the rest of the interview went pretty much the same way. No matter how Augustine and Electra structured the questions, all aimed at finding out what happened between the two men, the response was a plain, no comment. I guess we'll have to keep you in until we can check the CCTV, Augustine said at the end. Cal Green wanted to object, but there was no reason to. His client had been the last reported person to see Mark McManus alive. If he was innocent, then the images would prove that. Otherwise, Cal Green would have to use all his prowess and cunning to get the man off, or at least get him a lesser charge.